Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guy. So as you can see, I'm wearing one of my battle-worn caps. This video is not going to be about caps, but I do want to put something about it in the video because people have asked me about how I get this curve and how I can maintain it because apparently when they do it, it touches the earpiece of the shades. So I'm going to show that to you, but this video is going to be about holsters. So if you are a holster maniac like I am, then you may want to stay tuned for this. Last week I did my summer EDC update video and I showed the holster I carry, which is the Edge Custom Carry Eclipse holster. I helped or I consulted on the design of that holster. So that's my sort of everyday carry holster. But since then, and as expected, people have asked me, what would I carry if I, if I didn't carry that and if I carried a different light and all those sort of things. So I'm going to cover that in this uh, video where I sort of outline what are my best alternative holsters to the setup I carry. For that purpose, we're going to assume that you don't want to or already have and want to get a new holster, but we basically assume that you don't want the Edge Custom Carry Eclipse because then I would just recommend the Eclipse. But about these caps, so everybody knows with caps like this, the more curve you got in the peak, the more tactical you are. Like apparently, I believe like having this curve takes at least half a second of your your draw and first shot time. So I'm, I'm told that, although don't hold me to it. But what happens is when people wear their shades like this, and you put the cap on with a really aggressive curve, that situation happens. So this part of this video is kind of a very simple explanation on how you would negate that. Basically guys, you have to wear it so that the peak of your cap is parallel to the ground and the skull part of your cap is like at a 30 degree angle. Okay, that's how you can keep that really aggressive curve and still comfortably wear your shades. So now you know how to do that. By the way, this cap and a lot of others are available on my website, which is www.edcfortheedg.co.za. So go check those out if you are still interested in that. But now let's get to holsters. No, sorry, before holsters, I have to show you this. So this is my Honey Badger knife, right? Those of you who know, Honey Badger is a, like it's an African brand uh, of knife and they've come, come out with a new knife or new blade steel. This is still the original, but I had it sort of modified by Philip Dean Parks and he basically sort of bronzed the, the screws and the, the opening mechanism, what do we call this, the, the hinge shall I say, he stonewashed the blade and sharpened it, I don't know if you guys are getting a full effect, but spectacular work, I would say definitely contact him and, and like if he is doing this you know um, as a business or as a side business or whatever the case may be, have him do your blade because he does a really really spectacular job and it looks absolutely beautiful, massive thank you to him for doing this for me. But now we've got to get on to holsters. So the first sort of setup I'm going to tackle is those who carry their firearms without any weapon mounted lights, so just your base firearm. And for that, my favorite holster is the Valo holster from Tenico. So guys, remember everything on the channel is an opinion, nothing is a recommendation. But this is a really good holster for just your base fireman. What I'm basically basing this off is the holster I carry or would carry should my firearm be in this setup. Now, before we go further, this firearm is empty and empty and safe, so don't stress about that. So the Tenico Valo, I have done a full review, and wherever possible, I will link, I'll put the reviews up in the in the cards here, but they will all definitely be in the video description below. The Valo is a holster I did review. There's a new version out now, which I haven't gotten my hands on yet. So this is still the current one that I think is best for just the base firearm. It's obviously, as you can see, got this really nice concealment wedge that is angled in multiple different angles. Okay, so what happens is when you put this into your pants, this camming bar cams the holster over. So if it cams the holster over that way on the outward, so you can sort of see what it does on the inside of your body. It then pushes the flush side of this wedge against your body. So it's not as uncomfortable as what you may see. You may think this is a sharp point and it might be really uncomfortable. But that doesn't really touch your body. This edge over here touches your body. Also, they come with these discrete carry concepts clips, which are pretty much, in my opinion, the best 
J-clip style clip you'll find out there. Ultra thin, um, made of spring steel, rock solid. It has that tooth on the inside. See if I can highlight that for you. That tooth over there. So it actually catches onto your belt and latches onto it. This is hard to put on and hard to take off at the best of times. So this is definitely a holster with J-clips that is not going anywhere. Really cool holster. Um, their base model will cater for a 19 and a 17 and it's got a really nice red dot cutout. So like one of the nicer red dot cutouts. You see that the, the Kydex actually has like a, a indentation situation over here to allow it for your dot to fit in there quite nicely. So if you're going to rock the base firearm, what I'm currently going for is the Teneco Valor Holster. I'm not going to dwell on each holster for too long because then we're going to just take forever. And also all the holsters you see in this video will offer you a reasonably good level of concealment. There's going to be no bad holsters in this video. I'll put it to that way. At least that's my opinion. Okay, so moving on from just the base firearm, we're going to add our first attachment. And obviously it's going to be the ever popular Olight PL Mini. So if you're rocking the Olight PL Mini on your firearm, the holster I really like is the Quantum Carry Chameleon V2. Now, one other thing, all the holsters I'm going to look at in this video are going to be available in South Africa. The Teneco Value is available from Rocksteady Gear. I will leave the links down below. And this also, the Quantum Carry Chameleon is obviously available from Quantum Carry who are in Cape Town. So the Chameleon V2, I actually did the launch of this on Black Friday last year is also a wedge-based appendix carry holster. You can see it's got like a rubberized soft wedge in here. Very, very popular. Extremely good concealment because not only does the wedge cause that, but the claw on the side causes that as well. So you've got it like really, really tucked into your body. Matthew Wright at Quantum Carry is ultra popular. He's got a really good following and for good reason, it's a really well-designed holster, which offers great concealment, great comfort, and also really good customization. You can run this without the wedge if you want to. You can run it with one clip. You can run it with soft loops, whatever the case may be. So really cool holster. Not much to say, but I actually haven't reviewed this particular one, but I did review the original, which is for just the base firearm. So the Quantum Carry Chameleon V2 for the Olight PL Mini, good deal. That is the one I would go for if I was carrying that. And then moving on to something different, the, the new-ish Olight PL Mini 2. This is basically the one where you can move the light forward and back depending on what you want to go for. Now the reason I'm using the 19X here is because this holster unfortunately doesn't cater for my red dot. But that isn't a problem, it, it's something that, that can be sorted out. The Shinobi Kydex, I believe this is one of the Wakazashi holsters. And this thing, super aggressive claw. Look at that claw, like the claw sits almost as high as the, the, the second clip. This thing will, if you kind of want to know how aggressive this thing tucks into your body, imagine your belt coming through there. Look where this claw is in comparison to the grip of the firearm. It pulls this entire thing into your body. It will comfortably hide your full-size Glock frames and probably most other full-size pistols. And what's really nice about it is that this holster will allow you quite a large amount of adjustment on your light. So that's two clicks forward from where it was and it fits. And then if we go four clicks back, we just all the way back against the trigger guard area, it still slots in there. So it, it allows for quite a lot of adjustment on your light which i know a lot of people look for when they are um, buying a holster for the olight pl mini 2. so if you are interested in this speak to eric ace at shinobi kydex and he will be able to hook you up very cool holster very very aggressive claw on this guy so if you are someone who struggles with concealment in the appendix position this claw is going to cam this holster so aggressively into your body trust me you're going to be good to go and then if you're looking for a holster that caters for your firearm with a built-in mag carrier, it's got to be the Southwest Holsters Rattler. This is a very similar design to what I think it's T-Rex. Is it T-Rex or Tier 1? One of those two, I can't remember exactly, are doing with their holsters. And what I love about this is it's got that infinitely bendable mag carrier situation going on that I can tell you can take a hell of a lot of curves and bends and it's still going to keep going without any issue. 
I did a full review on this. They have since adjusted their claw to what I think is a better claw in terms of it sits further away. They used to have that bar claw over here, which gave good concealment. But this one just for me is, is it's more of the wing claw, which I think does a better job. And they do also offer really cool design options. They've always got like fancy Kydex uh, patterns and things like that. And with this holster, you're going to get a lot of comfort because it'll basically curve to any angle you want it to curve to, you know, so, you know, there, there, or wherever the case may be. So the Rattler from Southwest Holsters is the one I would go for if I'm carrying a firearm with, and I wanted a built-in mag carrier. Strangely enough, there are not a lot of guys doing this anymore. I don't know why. It's, for some of the reason, here in South Africa, people have stopped um, building holsters with built-in mag carriers, which is sad because I like also the built-in mag carriers. So guys, that is pretty much a rundown of where I would go if I'm going to carry just the base firearm with no extra mag. I would go with the Teneco Valo. If I'm going to carry the firearm with the Olight PL Mini, I'm going to go for the Quantum Carry Chameleon V2 with its foam, well, foam rubberized wedge. If I'm going to carry the Olight PL Mini 2, I'm going to go for the new Wacker Zashi Holster from Shinobi Kydex with a super aggressive aluminium claw. And then if I am looking for a holster that has a built-in spare mag carrier, I'm going to go for Southwest Holsters. I have done reviews on almost all of these holsters, so if you want to see those, they will be down below or they will have popped up as I mentioned them. Obviously, as always, a huge thanks to the guys who have sent me this gear. They are the people who make these videos possible. Don't forget... If you want to get some caps, they are on my website. The Urban Warrior gear is selling out like crazy and the special ends tomorrow if you're watching this on date of release, which is Sunday the 6th. So you have until tomorrow to order the Delta shorts at the special prices. That is, I'm going to go into that is the best shorts to wear for everyday carriers. Urban Warrior design gear specifically for EDCers. So it's Urban Gear designed for EDCs. Check them out on my website and place an order if you are interested. They have sold like absolute crazy this past week. Get on that if you do want that. Immediately after this video, I'm going to film the Olight giveaway. So actually by the time you watch this, I will actually know who's won the, the Olight competition. And then I will see you guys on Tuesday for that video. Until then guys, be safe. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you soon. Cheers. God bless.